YouTube family. Let's talk briefly about how to use the sentry gun. Now, if you already use the sentry gun and you're already having success with it, then maybe I can give you a few extra tips. But if you're one of those players who thinks that you're going to put up a sentry gun and you're always going to get like five to seven kills with it, then not only are you wrong, but you may be using it incorrectly. So I'm going to let you know how I use the sentry gun and hopefully it can help y'all get a few better games with the sentry gun. Um, first, let's talk about how to use it if you only have one active sentry gun. Um, I think most players are probably going to try to get you to put it into their spawn and then just make sure that the spawn doesn't flip. Um, some players are probably going to tell you to um, just put it in the most congested area of the map. Well, what I'm going to say is put your sentry gun in the area of the map that you are least comfortable with. The area of the map where your gun just doesn't seem to do well, you lose more of your gun fights, your perks aren't necessarily effective, your specialist can't really do anything put your sentry gun in those areas what that's going to do is that's going to force the enemy to move into the areas that you are comfortable with the areas that you can maneuver well the areas that you know well based on what type of player you are or even the rest of your team um, so now you have the team kind of at a disadvantage because they have to play a little more uncomfortably because they're in the area of the map that you you, you know kind of thrive in um, another thing is if you only have one active sentry gun out make sure you move that sentry gun from um, don't move it more than twice but definitely at least move that sentry gun one time and here's why because people don't want to adjust their play style people want to play how they're comfortable playing so in a lot of instances instead of just moving into that area of the map um, that you want them to be in they're going to exhaust all of their resources trying to destroy your sentry gun so this is where you're gonna see like two or three people running around with a launcher and you can pick those people off very easily um, but now when you see two or three people running around with a launcher and you've moved your sentry gun they're confused and disoriented again because now they're like, okay, now where is this sentry gun? It was just over here. I got my launcher out. Now they have to go try to find it. And <laughs> that often gives you a great advantage for just getting kills and winning gunfights on your own. Um, my last tip is going to be if you have two active sentry guns out. As you can see, the sentry gun over to the left of me is in a very stupid spot. I don't even remember putting it in that spot. Um, and I'm watching the gameplay and I don't remember putting it in that spot. But I just know that whenever I have two sentry guns out, I put one sentry gun in a good spot and then I put one sentry gun in a stupid spot. Just to really disorient the enemy and get them thinking, man, what the hell is going on? Um, because that was a very easy, flankable um, sentry gun where I had it. But... At the same time, you know, people kind of expect you to play well if you've been playing well and they expect you to make good decisions and they expect to hear when they hear, you know, hostile sentry gun out, they expect it to be in certain spots. So when there's just a random sentry gun sitting out in the middle of nowhere, it really kind of trips them out sometimes. And um, I don't know. I, to me, that is it makes me successful. So um, let me know what y'all think. And hopefully I helped y'all out. See y'all later.